The very first reviews for F9, the next installment in the Fast and Furious franchise, have arrived, and we're going to be taking a look at them here. As you can see on Rotten Tomatoes, it has currently a 62% uh, on the tomato meter, and that is with 87 reviews, and we're going to be looking at those reviews and seeing what people are saying about the movie. But before we do, I do want to thank the sponsor for this video, The Coldest Water. I just want to thank them for sending me this water bottle, which has kind of, kind of changed my life in a lot of ways when it comes to water bottles as you can see here i have ice in the water bottle right now and this ice that i put on in this water bottle i put in yesterday and there's still ice in here which just goes to show that this is a really well crafted water bottle that keeps your drinks cold for a really long time it is pretty incredible stuff and it is odor resistant i'm very picky about my water bottles and this one is honestly one of the best water bottles that i have ever received and is probably my favorite and i don't really expect to really change this at all for the rest of my life hopefully because the coldest water is absolutely phenomenal and i think that you guys should definitely check them out the link is in the description of this video make sure that you click down click on that link go buy yourself some uh really great water bottles over at the coldest water with that being said let's go ahead and get into this video and uh and uh take a look at f9 and see what we have going on here so the critics' consensus for F9 is this. F9 sends the franchise hurtling further over the top than ever, but director Justin Lin's knack up for preposterous set pieces keeps the action humming. So it sounds like it sounds like a Fast and Furious movie, right? It sounds like a movie that's going to be very over the top, but at the same time, the action is what keeps the movie going, which is pretty much the description for all of the Fast and Furious movies, at least post, like, uh, you know, Fast and Furious, like, 4 or whatever. So, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the reviews here. So, right away, as you can see, there's a lot of rotten here. A lot of rotten. But uh, F9 takes the saga to a place that's out of this world, and even that wasn't enough to maintain my interest for all 145 minutes. That was kind of the, the joke for a while, right? Like, oh, well, what, what is Fast and Furious going to do next? Go to space? And that is exactly what they do. <laughs> they decide to go to space. So... What do I think about this? Uh, I, I obviously haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm a little bit worried about this movie because, as we all know, Michelle Rodriguez, who uh, plays, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Letty. Letty in uh, the movies and stuff. Um, she is a wokester. She is someone who has pushed for more female writers to be involved with the project so that we get better female characters, which is absolutely ridiculous because... The Fast and Furious franchise has always had great female characters. They've always had great female characters. Letty, Letty, the person who is who plays Letty is complaining about not having good female characters or enough female characters or whatever in the Fast and Furious franchise. She's great. Letty is such a great part of those movies. What are they? What is she, what is she even talking about? It's so ridiculous, man. And that's the, the whole insane thing about Hollywood, is that they want quantity over quality. And this is a problem they have, where they want to just continue to try to cram as many female people behind the scenes and as many female characters as they can in their projects, but none of them are really that great. Like, yeah, there are some that are really good, like Letty, who is really good, but when you start just trying to fill up your project with female characters that aren't that great it, it completely ruins the experience and that is what i'm fearful of when it comes to uh f9 so we'll see I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know what i think about it when i watch it i'm watching it on friday so in two days and i'm definitely going to be doing a review for you guys to so make sure that you guys check that out but uh it looks like as far as the critics go it's kind of mid you know, they, like there's there's a lot of critics. Obviously, they're giving it very rotten reviews. So um, we've come so far from the days of hijacking shipments of DVD players. <laughs> oh man, the good old days when uh, the Fast and Furious franchise was just starting out, right? But uh, man, I, I I do love the Fast and Furious franchise, which is why I'm concerned about F9, and I hope that it is good. We'll just have to wait and see. But unlike Dom's beloved Charger, whatever's under the hood has started to rust and sour. Is charm wearing away for too many turns around the same track? Nine might just be one too many. <laughs> Which is interesting because people, if I 
am not mistaken, people enjoyed Hobbs and Shaw quite a bit. Let me let me uh, try to uh, see what the uh, what Hobbs and Shaw was rated here. But I'm pretty sure that people enjoyed Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, pretty much everyone had a good time with Hobbs and Shaw. So we'll see what people actually think about uh, F9 when it comes out. I'm very curious to see what the the audience thinks because obviously that is kind of like the that is what really matters. I mean, when it comes to to Rotten Tomatoes, you kind of have to try to like gauge both audiences right like you gotta gauge it with the critics and you gotta gauge it with the audience and kind of see where it kind of lands and stuff for the most part when it comes to what people generally think but yeah there's a lot of rot in here for the for the movie we'll see what what the what people actually think when it comes out and stuff and what i actually think obviously uh i don't really judge movies until i've seen them myself but i always do enjoy to uh looking into this and seeing what people think about the movie before it comes out and stuff so with that being said i'm going to be doing a review in a couple days make sure you guys stick around for that that and i'll let you know everything that you, you need to know about the movie and if it's woke and whatever else i'll definitely be letting you know about that so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed subscribe for new make sure you go check out the coldest water you will not regret it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you later bye My heart's desire